Well, again, I have it set for the uh, 50 millimeter lens on the hospital. Well, it's kind of slow. It has f4 maximum aperture. So to get this exposure with 100 speed film, my Gossen Lunar Pro F is asking for 15th of a second. And I think that there's just way too much movement in these branches and this light wind. I think that'll be blurry. So I'm not going to shoot this. Go ahead and put the camera away. But it's almost just like I shot it. So I could, um, why don't I actually, just like before, take the back off. And so I got to put the slide back in. Oops. The camera won't fire if this is in. And similarly, you can't remove the back without that being in. This is... So when I put this back on it, the counter wasn't set. So I think that it was way back two weeks ago or three that I um, loaded Ektar 100. Okay, so I can do this two ways. One thing that someone at Blue Moon Camera helped me realize was the mirror lock. Now with that up, the camera doesn't move as much when you pull the shutter. I'll show you the back of here, actually. So, there's my shot. With all this that's gone into it, I ought to take a picture anyway. So with the mirror lock up, it also lifts the baffles. Now this isn't an ideal environment for such a nice camera. I think a camera like this would run you about probably about a thousand dollars for this setup. In today's prices, they're on the rise. Uh, I have a longer lens, an 80, as well as a uh, 100. I think it's a 120, 150. Yeah, it's 150. But I found that the long lens was too long for my standard approach. Now I came out here because there is a evidently the spectacular landscape of these sandstone cliffs but it's about a mile from here and when you go out in a shoot like this you look at what's happening and try to predict the future and it's looking like it's getting really hazy and it's become hazier since I've been here so I could make it all the way down there and have lousy conditions for a shot so who knows probably going to do that